Hey there, Chris here. Now we're going to show you the pagination widget, which is part of the Lightroom Deck package. I've just changed the background color from the previous video just to this slightly lighter gray so that we can see the ink interface that we're using here. And we said before that we have the ability to add additional widgets to add additional features to the uh, widget. Now one of the re reasons we do that is because the interface here if we added all of the features that we want to give you to one widget, it would be unmanageable. So we want to use multiple widgets. But the beauty of that as well is that we can make this, we can add components to the widget. We can add new features by dragging a new widget on. So if we wanted to do something just quick and fast, we can just use the Lightroom deck. If we wanted to add additional features, then we can do that with additional widgets. So first of all, if we go to our library and we're going to go to our pagination manager and just drag that onto the page here. Let's move that back into place. We can see that we have this new interface here and this is telling us, this is updating us on what's going on in this widget. So these two widgets are working together. Now we talked previously about the deck ID and the deck ID is pertaining to the actual container that this widget is in. So we want to use the deck ID here, the U75, and that'll be, that'll change when you drag the widget onto your version of Muse. It won't always say U75. That's the automatic user interface ID that Muse has generated for that particular rectangle at that particular time. Okay, so in this particular instance, the deck ID is U75. So let's go ahead and type that into our deck ID in the pagination widget. And in this widget here, we're going to switch our pagination number of lines to two. So after two lines, we want it to start and we want pagination to start so that we've got next and previous and the numbered pages, okay? So let's take a look at what actually happens here. We can see in our preview, we now have two pages of images, two lines of images, sorry, and then we start to get our pagination. Now let's see what we can do with our um, settings here. So first off, I'm going to select the entire Lightroom deck. I'm going to go to our text options here, and I'm going to use Source Sans Pro, and change the text to white. Now what that'll do is because we haven't set up any specific font style, it just defaults to Arial. But if you take a look now, we can see that we're actually using our um, Source Sans Pro and we're using the color white. So if we change that, for instance, let's go for some crazy font. Let's see whether this actually works. Let's say, so um, Francisco, preview, we can see that the font is now being used in our pagination. So it's really easy to change the text on this widget. So you don't have to use anything else apart from the tools built into Muse. And you'll notice that the widget itself, all of the text here was altered as well. So with that, um, with that text now, we can go in and start making some changes to our pagination. So we want to change our border color. We'll leave that white. We're gonna change the fill to this gray here and we'll use the selected fill. We keep that as red. Fill transparency, that's really nice because if you've got imagery behind it or, or um, some effects behind it, then you can change the transparency of the pagination. We can change the, the padding as well and the item spacing. So let's say, for instance, we wanted to make this a single block. If we drop this down to zero, and we'll change our radius as well to zero here, and then if we preview, then we've got a nice block instead. And we can see that as we click through, our block rearranges itself and so on. Now you notice that this doesn't seem to be selectable anymore. Now, why is that? Well, that's because this widget here is a rectangle. And although it's not being seen, it's still being picked up by Muse as a piece of content. And so it's sitting over the top. So all we have to do is just bring our main widget to to the front. That means that we can't select this widget now, so we just send that to the back again. So we can just work like that. But once it's set up to go, we won't need to keep doing that. So now we can see that we have our pagination here and everything selectable. So that's really useful because um, if we've got large image galleries, we can very quickly add this pagination. We can style it up to match the look and feel of our site.
and we're getting all of our feedback about our widget, seeing what color fills. So everything about the widget is in front of us there as a reminder of what, what we're, how we're set up. Really easy to use. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the icons manager to manage the icons that are used um, in the slideshow and the various parts of the widget to our own icons so we can match up Lightroom Deck to the style of our site. So that's the next video is the icons manager.